Today, we have to settle a debate. Which is better, the M16 Grenadier or the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel? We wanna know which one is the best barrel to use. So we're pretty much gonna break down this video based on recoil patterns, recoil control, and also we're gonna take a look at the stats of the aiming down sight speed, as well as how it affects your movement speed, and also at the same time, of course, how much damage range you actually get from each barrel. And then we're gonna talk about some practical things too, like, you know, which one's more practical in multiplayer which one's more practical on larger maps 10v10 ground war and war zone so we're gonna break all of that down today and the reason why i'm talking about this is because i made a top 5 m4a1 class setup video which featured the corvus custom and using it in multiplayer so i felt the need to clarify by making this video so hopefully the people who did leave comments saying that why not use the m16 it's got better recoil control more range you know while it's true i want to show you guys in this video why i chose what i chose so if you do find this video informational and you find it helpful consider leaving a like and make sure to subscribe if you are new around here and turn on notifications so you can make your way back to the channel all right so this is how i normally do all of my recoil pattern testing i always come to this wall in grazna raid i put them side by side i first do it with the recoil pattern doing its thing and then i try to control it so uh people are saying the m16 has a better recoil control versus the corvus custom which they are not wrong you know i've already done these tests before in the past and i already know this this is not anything new so uh, just for demonstration purposes, we do have the Grenadier barrel on right now. Just going to show you here. And we're going to go look at the recoil pattern. And then after this, we're going to take a look at the Corvus Custom. All right, so that's what it looks like when we're not controlling the recoil. Then we're going to move it over here. We're going to try to control that recoil as best as we possibly can. All right, so that's a pretty good bullet spread right there. Now we're going to switch over to the Corvus Custom. Aim down sights. And we're going to point and shoot. Let it do its thing. All right, cool. Move on over. Try to control that recoil. All right, so clearly there's a lot of side-to-side -side bounce when you do have the Corvus Custom versus the M16. M16 is this one, Corvus Custom is this one. So as far as vertical recoil goes, they're pretty much identical. Now, the Corvus Custom is slightly bigger than the M16 uh, bullet spread here, but of course, without a doubt, the M16 does win in the fact that it does have better recoil control. All right, so the next thing I do wanna talk about is why I choose the Corvus Custom barrel in multiplayer versus the M16. All right, so we're going to transition over to the TrueGameData.com website so you guys get a better visual understanding of what I'm talking about. All right, so we're on TrueGameData.com now, and here we have in front of me my all-around M4A1 class setup. So this is the most balanced class setup that I gave you guys in one of my top five M4A1 setups. Now, that class setup specifically was designed for multiplayer. I usually play 6v6. I very rarely play 10v10, but if I do play 10v10, I always try to keep in mind that I want to close the gap just a little bit between myself and the enemies so that my target is a lot bigger obviously the more accurate your shots will be so uh the m4a1 number one is with the m16 grenadier barrel so as you can see the range modifier is about 54 percent and then for the one with the corvus custom it's 43 percent so if you take a look at the ads it's a lot slower versus with the Corvus at 296 milliseconds. So long story short, Corvus Custom has a faster ADS. And keep in mind, this is with the other attachments here. So the attachments are basically the same thing. The only thing that's different here is that the barrels are different. So the ADS speed takes a huge hit when you add all of these attachments combined versus the ADS on the M4 with the Corvus Custom barrel. So sprint to fire time, tactical sprint to fire time is gonna be the same. Now here is where the Corvus Custom still wins, 4.62 meters per second versus 4.51 meters per second. So the Corvus Custom wins again in ADS and movement speed ads movement speed is going to be the same thing that's when you're aiming down sights and you're strafing left and right but we're not really here to talk about that uh vertical recoil so negative six percent versus negative 12 percent so that's why on the wall test that i just showed you the m16 has a better recoil control so that's why negative doesn't always mean bad negative it means good when you're talking about recoil control so m16 is the winner at recoil control all right so if we're talking about hip fire accuracy slightly better hip fire accuracy from the m4 with the corvus custom 
custom barrel and the bullet velocity is very similar here for both weapons all right so i just want to show you guys specifically the stats of each of these the stock m16 grenadier it gives you a 40 percent boost in your range and the corvus custom gives you a 30 percent boost in your range all right so the ads is 67 penalty and corvus is only 46 so uh that's a pretty huge difference in your ads speed penalty so if we're talking about strictly multiplayer here in small to medium sized maps and maybe even large maps like i said it depends how you use it on larger maps uh the corvus custom is clearly going to give you a bigger advantage as far as standing a chance in the gunfight because if you aim down sights with the m16 and you're faced with somebody in a close quarter combat situation or even a mid-range against a good player that player is going to kill you before you even get a chance to ads so that's why in multiplayer corvus custom is the safer bet now we're going to take that one step further i'm going to show you more of a reason why to use the corvus custom in multiplayer so for the movement speed movement speed is a lot worse on the m16 versus the corvus custom at 2.1 percent versus that 4.4 percent uh vertical recoil control we already know those uh hip fire accuracy we know that as well and bullet velocity is nearly identical just like i said all right so in this view comparison chart this is where it gets very interesting and where it may make a lot of sense for where i'm coming from so first let's take a look at multiplayer so we change it to multiplayer health and we are going to add ads percentage of time because that is going to give us the most real data as possible as far as how fast it takes to kill your enemy because aiming down sights is the first step to killing your enemy so that's why we're going to put yes and we're going to put it at 100 percent and we're also going to click yes on the bullet time travel to target so let's start off with the chest here so keep in mind the purple is going to be with the corvus custom and the yellow is going to be with the m16 the, clearly anybody with eyes can see here that the corvus custom has a faster time to kill versus the m16 and this is for multiplayer now the reason why the yellow extends a lot further is because the m16 has more range so 44.7 meters uh versus the corvus custom at 41.5 meters so uh that's really only a three meter difference in the range so you tell me is that really worth it to you in multiplayer at 40 meters like think about how far 40 meters is when you're in game so but the huge difference here is that time to kill the main reason why is because this is accounting for that aim down sight speed so if you move further down along the line corvus custom still wins at these ranges now the reason why i say use m16 if you're playing 10v10 ground war or war zone is because at anything past 60 meters at that range is going to be incredibly hard to control that recoil from that long of a range so that's where the m 16 grenadier barrel comes in and why it will be a lot more helpful corvus custom better in multiplayer best use 6v6 or on small to medium sized maps should you want to use the corvus custom barrel m16 better in 10v10 ground war and war zone so hopefully that give you guys some sort of explanation now that i'm showing you the actual data behind why i'm saying what i'm saying so let's change this here to war zone at these ranges like i said earlier anything past 60 meters you're gonna have a hard time downing your opponents so that's why using the m16 in war zone is going to be a lot more beneficial because of the recoil patterns that i just showed you it gives you a much more laser beam type of accuracy so let me just reiterate this one more time if you're singling out the m16 versus the corvus custom barrel the difference in ads when you're using the m4 with just the m16 and the corvus custom barrel you know you're not really going to notice it too much but what happens when you add more attachments like the monolithic suppressor a 50 round mag etc etc you know you have to take these into consideration as well the more attachments you put on your weapon of course the more weight you will hold which will result in a slower ads so that's something that most people don't think about when they're talking about about their weapons and something you have to consider as well so that's where my logic comes from when i make my class setups you know which one is most optimized for playing aggressive which one's more optimized for reducing that recoil as much as possible which one's more optimized for being an all-around class setup for use on all types of maps so uh which one's best on warzone you know so uh hopefully this video did bring some light to the topic of you know which one should you be using in multiplayer or warzone corvus 
this custom versus m16 and of course at the end of the day like it really depends on your skill level like are you able to handle the slow ads more skilled players are going to notice the times when you do need to ads around those corners before you turn it so that you're not caught in a situation where your ads is too slow and you get killed so you know sorry for a lot of the talking but you know this is golden information for those out there who need to know which is the better barrel. So if you guys did find this video informational or helpful in some way, shape or form, consider leaving a like to show me that this is the kind of content you want to continue to see and subscribe. If you're new around here, turn on notifications. So you make your way back to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.